Hi, I'm Rukshana. I'm a broadcast journalist and I'm an adoptive mother. And I'm in conversation with Storytelled. Describe the first day you met your daughter. My God, it was tear jacking. She was the cutest little thing in a red jumpsuit. And you know how they say that mothers think all their babies are cute? Yeah, but this one was the real deal. She was absolutely adorable. She made me cry the entire time. I just couldn't believe I was a mum. So the first day was pretty tearful for me. Lots of Kleenex and lots of happiness, obviously. What was the process of formally adopting her like? Um, let me see how I can simplify this. I filled in an application, obviously, because that's what you do. And I had to get processed and interviewed. I needed social workers to come to my home and assess the suitability of my home. And of course, interview me as to whether I was really suitable to become a mum, but also interrogate my reasons for becoming a mum. And then there was the process of waiting. I had to face a panel. So it was almost like applying for a job, which was pretty okay because I suppose you're being entrusted with a child so it's important that they actually verify your <laughs> your credibility for all intents and purposes. Back in the day which was about seven years ago you'd foster for three years the law has changed now so all it takes is one year which is pretty short time so I fostered for three years and then I had to file for legal adoption which is a whole court process I needed to hire a lawyer I needed to get a probation officer to write a report and then I had to go to court and of course court approved my application to formally adopt my amazing daughter and that's how I became a mother officially. What societal attitudes towards adoption bother you the most? Um, I think it has to be the fact that people think that you cannot truly love a baby that you haven't carried in your womb or actually pushed. If I choose to adopt and become a mum, then I definitely love this baby. I don't have to share DNA with her to actually love her. So that really bothers me a lot. Biggest lesson your daughter has taught you, my God. She told me that I have a soft spot. Tough as nails in one space, totally marshmallow as far as she's concerned. So I suppose I've gotten in touch with my softer side, which is a really, really good thing. And we have my daughter to thank for that. As a mother, what worries you the most about raising a daughter? I worry that one day she will grow up and just think she doesn't need me anymore. Am I being selfish? Maybe I am. So I'm trying as much as possible to just ah, make sure my relevance in her life is felt, you know, so that she just feels like I need my mommy around me a lot. That's what mothers do. As an adoption ambassador, why should more Ugandans consider adopting? I believe we all have enough space in our homes, we have enough space in our hearts to actually take on these kids. And these kids would have no future if they were not being raised in families. Children do not belong in orphanages. Children belong in families where they can be nurtured, where they can be loved, where they can be, you know, shown what life really is. And these kids have no one. So we need to adopt our children. I was quite enjoying this conversation, but on to my last question. What lesson has life taught you that you wish to pass on to your daughter? The most important thing I'd like to pass on to my daughter is the fact that in life, you will make some crappy, crappy, crappy choices. I've made some absolutely crappy choices in my life, but they do not define who you are. You are a lot more than your past. You are a lot more than your mistakes. And if my daughter gets to figure that out, then I think I would have done a good thing as a mother. Well, it's been absolutely great having this conversation on adoption, which is something I am absolutely passionate about, especially Ugandans adopting Ugandan children. So it's been great and it's been storytelled.